So the Veteran Hunters uh, was started this past January. We're a not-for-profit organization registered here in Alberta. And we were started out of the basically the gap in some of the therapy that's offered for soldiers with PTSD. And, and that being basically hunting and spending time in the outdoors. Um, I found it therapeutic for myself over the last six years while I was going through treatment for my PTSD. One of the things hunting does is it combines, binds our abilities to stay in the moment, stay mindful, stay um, focused and use all the tips and tools and techniques that were used to help us cope with our PTSD in conjunction with the skills that we learned as soldiers. So you put the two of those together and now you have someone who's very feel, feeling very satisfied about who they are. The other thing about, about hunting and just getting in the outdoors, one, it's not necessarily about, the, the, about getting the animal, it's the experience of getting together with other veterans. A lot of the veterans that have participated in our hunts this year uh, haven't talked to another military member since leaving, leaving the forces. So one of the things that the Veteran Hunters allows guys to do is we look at basically group therapy or to quote one, uh, one of the other veterans said basically uh, windshield therapy. It gives us time as, time as veterans to get together. We talk about our experiences in the military. We're willing to share in a, in a safe way with others who have PTSD because we recognize that everyone may have had different experiences in the military, but they're all similar experiences that we all understand from each other. So whether we get an animal at the end of the day is not the important thing. The important thing is, is getting veterans to you know, engage in outdoor activities, um, being able to overcome anxiety and other issues related to their PTSD, and just be able to, to get outdoors and embrace the outdoors, feel engaged, feel connected with other veterans, and then feel good about themselves. Oh, you've got the fording one. Okay. Awesome. I'll put it in your back there? Sure. Actually, hold that. Veterans tend to avoid each other. We, we don't generally congregate together. Um, especially if we were on like the same tour together or in the same section and uh, it, it just tends, tends to bring stuff back that, that you otherwise have buried. And, but there's something about getting together for an activity like this, it just feels good. It's an access point. So that you can you can go in, you can listen, you can hear to a voice, listen to a voice that you're going to recognize, speaking a language that you're going to recognize, and telling stories and unearthing things that you're like, oh God, yeah, I do that too. I thought I was the only crazy person, that I was the only one with a mind that was all messed up like that. No, it, this is this is how we think. This is common, and that helps to break the isolation. It lets you know that you're not alone, and of course we have practical. Uh, tools. Here's what we're using and this is this is what works. Here's how you can get through. And we're going to have episodes on navigating the VAC system and finding a service officer and, and, and all these things. And we have clinical support. Uh, I have Dr. Lorraine Smith McDonald uh, who did her uh, doctoral thesis in PTSD. Uh, she's going to be interacting with the show. I'm attending all kinds of PTSD conferences, uh, mental health first aid. I'm doing everything I can so that we're, we do it right. And we don't leave anybody lead anybody down the wrong road, you know.